Alrighty. So, Dragon from beginning to 108. Let's check this out. Okay, until impact. Alright, let's see. Yeah, I love it. Okay, the only thing I would say, this guy lower. I know it's not like you want to do a flap that, you know, propels him all the way out there. But there's just something um, repetitive in terms of how much he flaps, in terms of like how far down he or she goes. So I would go really and fold it. Fold it low, right? So if you're going... Like the reversal, all that stuff is cool. You're also staying in this pose for too long. You go down, boom, reverse, and then you're stuck one, two, three, four, five, almost five frames in that pose. And then watch out. You might have to widen, or kind of offset some of your structure there to conveniently work for the flaps. It's not so even as well. But I would go lower. Take those five frames, right? Take those out and add five more frames to the down, which should probably give you something closer to that. You know what I mean? Only because, you know, as you see him or her, it's a little bit of one, like a little adjustment one, big one, and then it's kind of the same. Like I buy this, even though you could go here, technically you can also go higher here, because he is low, or she, and that will tell us, well, that makes sense, and then go a bit lower here. So it's kind of a bigger, but it's not too bad. Like I can buy this. The only thing I would say is that if you look at this pose, just look at that, and now go till about here. It's the same. So it feels like a 2D cutout that just kind of slides over. So that combined with the kind of a timid approach here on the wings, uh, just you can punch up the entrance. So by that, again, I mean, you can go maybe a bit higher on the wings and a bit lower, and then pinch it like this. You know, so it's a bit more tilted. So there's more for the dragon to here to compensate. Right, so you go from something like that. That might just be a bit more interesting, and in the you know, the, you could have something a bit bigger on the head. That's cool, right? But it feels like a one-axis thing that's towards camera, which is a hard sell. So you might have to make your arc a bit bigger, like to the side, and then roar. You know, when he goes that and that, you want that going backwards to be more sideways. So we have more of a silhouette and visual change. Right now, it's just too camera. It just seems too timid. So you want to make a big arc. Then that's cool. So if you do that big here with the big move, then you could probably leave this flap here. So you have big entrance. And then it's kind of an adjustment. That's cool. And it's going to help when you offset the wings. You know, when you have poses where it's a bit more like that. You know, stuff like this where it's just a bit more regular, especially because the dragon turns around. Rest is cool. It's going to be interesting with the legs as well. You know, and especially if you go wider with a bit of a bigger turn, um, you know, it's something where you could help the silhouette. Not that it has to be that turns, but maybe more like that. Um, you know, imagine, you just imagine it's something where, you know, it's, you have, it's a horrible drawing, but <laughs> you don't have this, but you have that. There's a bigger turn on the head, uh, and on the tail. So you got your, you know, shoot. It's a bit wavier. This feels a bit straight. You know what I mean? Like this is kind of a, uh, a straight line over there and then turns and stops so just punch it up a bit but it's definitely headed in the right direction it's getting better and better i'm just being a picky turd and it's basically if i would look at this at work and this was for a movie um you know whatever fantasy movie would be you want to really punch up those moments and that's what i would say 
you know, I understand that's a pain in the ass and some things, it's a lot of work or a lot of frame by frame or you don't have time to do it, totally understand. So you can absolutely pick and choose. Just let me know in the email what you did and what you don't want to hear in terms of feedback. Um, but this would be your work type of feedback. And then Dozer, you are 45. So basically once your hits. Interesting. That's a tricky one. You're doing all the right things. The problem is that right now, it looks like he just slides sideways. I think the things that would help you, you know, maybe go a bit higher. It's a bit more like that. So that by the time you slide, you will see a bigger difference in height. You have it now, but if you push the beginning, that could work. That's great. That's great. I'm not sure if you can push it out further, but then all I would do is bring out that but then that way. So if there's possibly a bit more of a negative space for the lower part of the face, and then rotate that wrist out, basically what you're doing at the very end here. Wait, drawing to him. See how you're starting to rotate the wrist? Do that starting. Basically, you can pop, 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 get into this with the wrist turned this way, like at the end of your move. It's more of a stubby thing. And then by the time you're here, you actually do this, but then you have your hand out here, thumb here, but fingers out here, you know? Gives a, a, a stronger silhouette, a bit lower here. Even you could lower the head um, to break up the silhouette, basically, right? So you have those thingies really breaking and that low part of the head breaking. Otherwise, you end up with just trace this you know this is just a big blob i don't know where the head is i can see this this is cool and that's cool but i think if you lower the head and you break it and you take that arm over it gives us a better silhouette not that my drawing helps but I hope that makes sense. now the other thing that i would do <clears throat> for next time is arbitrarily add little stone boulders things not that big like tiny things but irregular all the way and especially through here so we can see what's going on you know if those things still go away from us showing that we're the camera is still moving backwards and it will give us a better sense of what this guy is doing the other thing is he also stops too quickly Whoop. right it has to be more of a Let's see if it does in real time. One eighty nine. I would stop. And that curve really has to be. Right now, it feels like you're doing this a bit. And then also, if you look at the head rotation, the head is always the same. So it could start off messier where. You know, if that's your, your jawline, right, half open, it's actually like this. The head is maybe up a bit, so that by the time you're, um, you're, you know, at the ends, you can almost go. If you go, you know, like I said, a bit lower, maybe tilt down the head a bit more. That will bring up these guys more, just so that the head does a little bit of a rotation down, uh, translate down, and then rotate over like that to give it again a visual change. Basically, you want to get away from things as you move forward, where you look at the head, and it's basically the same. Just like the dragon, the body and head shape here is basically the same. It looks like a 2D card. You want to give that as much visual um, contrast as possible. Alrighty. And I think what I'm seeing was also contributing to your weird slides perspective change is you translate your camera to the side from here to here. I would not do that. 
basically your Kenyan and your camera. All you do is translate back. If you ever need to reframe, you rotate. Just do a rotation. But don't do any translates. Because if this was, this would be either a car or it would be tracks and someone would be pushing this. You can't just have tracks laid out that suddenly do this. A car might do a swerve, but then the dynamics would be totally different of the camera. So I will keep it translate and just rotate to reframe here. And if you need to reframe here, and at the very end, you can add, I can show you the little um, handheld thing for the camera to give this, all of this bit more of a live action feel. But I would just do this at the end because it's going to look 20% better. That's not true. It's going to feel 20% better. It's going to look better. But the feeling is going to be more of realism. Boom, with a bit of a camera shake here. A little bit earlier. Boom, 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 boom. So yours is a bit late and a bit too high frequency. Too short. So translate only. Just rotate in Y and uh, what is in X. So just sideways and up and down. Don't do any Z, like you don't want your, your horizon to suddenly be like this. Uh, and concern on the animation, and then I will help you at the very end with the camera as a little bonus. Alrighty, it's very cool. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.